jana lila lilitokea ni furugu kidogo ilileta na mheshimiwa Mwaola na sababu yake mimi sijui kwa sababu alitukuta kwa mkutano yetu mkutano wetu ilikuwa ni ya project tulikuwa tunatengeneza daraja tulikuwa tumeingia hapo saa mbili asubuhi tukiunda uh, daraja kwa sababu tulikuwa tumetengeneza hiyo daraja hapo mbereni akatuma watu wake wakafunja na mimi nikashukua hatua ya kutengeneza daraja strong ya kupitia watu wa bodaboda wafuke ngambo ingine na wakati ilifika kitu saa kumi hivi ndio tulimaliza hiyo kazi kuunda ni kazi kubwa na ni kazi mingi Mwaura alikuja na vijana wengi sana zaidi ya miabiri wakakuja wakakanyanga pale kwa tuna, tunatengeneza Mwaura mwenyewe akaanza kupiga watu magumi hapo askari wake akatoa buduki akapiga juu naye Mwaura akijaribu kusukuma watu akatereza kwa ile ile mjengo ilikuwa ka, ilikuwa bado bichi sana akatereza ile miti ya kushikilia ndio ilimgonga sikio hakuna mtu alimpiga risasi na hata hakuna mtu alimpiga what interest do you have to disrupt those the, i want to dismiss that with the contempt it deserves the provocation came from the opponent he came demolished our shed demolished our our, our logos and everything and started reconstructing with the loud music and his hooligans. So there was no meeting there. It was a clear act of a provocation. They had done that before. And uh, that candidate himself was there. He was the commander-in-chief of his goons. And so therefore, when we came, we only came to ask why they were doing it. And because they were armed, then they just went and attacked us. In fact, were I not for the fact that we called the police, it would have been worse. So some, somebody should not try to create stories here. Who shade was it? Who had constructed it? Why didn't they go and build another shade elsewhere? Why were they targeting that? Why did they approach? Why did they approach the chairman of another shade that we had built and give, give, give them money so that they could also do the same until the other members protested? So, this is siyasa duni ambazo wazina maana. Wakati furugu ilija, watu walikuja yengi, zaidi ya watu elfu ine, na vile askari walifanya, walikuja wakarusa tia gas, sita, Zote tukafurugwa na ndio hapo watu sisi tukaondoka lakini hakuna mtu alipigana hata hakuna mtu yoyote alienda hospitali isipokuwa Mwaura alianguka kwa, kwa shimo kwa hiyo uh, nini uh, changarawe ilikuwa hapo na kama kingara alikuwa analeta vita kwa nini watu elfu ine hawako kwa hospitali hakuna kwa nini watu elfu ine hawana majeraha i was the one who was, who was injured because they were after me that's why it's clearly an, an assassination attempt because all my people who were there, the few that were there, where is my bodyguard? Um, he was not injured. He tried to fend off, but they were coming to me, in fact. And it was, there were two individuals and that opponent. He was there. In fact, he was even seen throwing a stone, this guy. Is, is that stupid, by the way? Low-key politics. We should not be having a press conference to discuss how Boda Boda Shed was demolished. Surely we... The, the opponent, yes, that opponent, that one that was there. Mm. Simon Ngakingara.